Uh, I was just tired of it at the end of the year. Uh, I just wanted to gone. This is much easier to maintain. So yeah. How long had you had that? Uh, I did. Literally, we uh, lost to Scene Hall. I guess on Tuesday, I cut it Wednesday morning. You know, I mean, how long was it? Was it <laughs> oh, how long was the ponytail? Since like ninth grade. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. So what was the response from your teammates? Uh, they all liked it. Uh, I mean, they used to give me a lot of crap about it uh, when I had it, but they like it now. So, yeah. Are you a better player with or without? <laughs> I don't think it makes a difference. <laughs> yeah. Lou, what's been your focus this offseason, just the things you want to improve before your sophomore year? Uh, just overall, just trying to get better. Uh, I think leadership was a big thing I wanted to really improve on last year. I was kind of one of the younger guys. This year, I think I kind of had to step into more of a leadership role, so just being more vocal with the guys, leading by example, all that type of stuff. Like you obviously had a lot of roster turnover this year, a lot of new guys in that room. What's sort of been your first impressions of this new group? Uh, I think it's a great group of guys. I mean, we've worked really hard so far. The guys show up every day, regardless of what happened, good or bad, the day before, and they just show up ready to work. What, what are the biggest differences you've noticed roster-wise and, and talent-wise from last year to this year? I think this year we're a lot younger. Um, last year we were a little older, uh, but this year we're a lot younger. But, I mean, it's just a good, uh, good group of guys this year. How would you evaluate your freshman year? What would you think of what you were able to accomplish? Uh, I think it was pretty good. Uh, obviously, there was stuff I could have done better, stuff I could have uh, did well. But I mean, I thought it was good to learn from some of the guys. I thought I had a, a good opportunity, so I was just thankful for it. Coach was saying a while ago, I think you probably heard, he doesn't want you to be afraid. If you got an open look, to go ahead and, and take a shot. How do you feel your, your shooting has improved a bit and allow you? To yeah, play? I mean, they're definitely telling me to uh, shoot it whenever I'm open and uh, try to be a little more aggressive this year. Uh, I'm always just in the gym a lot, and then I uh, just, whenever it came, comes, just be confident. What's your relationship like with Silas and Dylan, you, you know, you guys coming back for your second year? Yeah, uh, I mean, we definitely leaned, each, uh, leaned on each other a lot during the whole uh, deciding uh, decision process. Like I said, I think Silas said it, I was his roommate last year. You know, Dylan have became real close. So, I mean, yeah, we're real close. What kind of uh, roommate was Silas? He was a good roommate. I mean, we kind of just stayed, uh, stayed to ourselves. We were both clean, so it was a uh, pretty good, yeah. What was your reaction like learning that he was going to come back to Georgia? And I was definitely excited. Uh, I mean, he had a great year last year, and I mean, we and him grew close. So I was definitely excited that he was coming back. How, how have you seen him grow as a leader? Uh, he's definitely, I mean, he was always a good leader, especially as a freshman, but this year he's just becoming more vocal. And I just become more, even more of an everyday type of guy. Really, he's shooting it well, playing it well. He's the same type of guy. Salas was saying, uh, you know, with, with Salvo, it's been a, been a little bit of a language barrier, I guess, right at first. You guys get to know each other. What are some kind of some examples that's kind of of that, and kind of how do y'all try to get around it? Uh, I mean, this is really just like slang. I think English, he's like pretty good, but like slang, some of the slang terms he doesn't understand. So like just, what? Uh, <laughs> I, I can't mention. really think of an example, but I mean, just like slang terms, he kind of yeah, yeah. Tyron's a guy that's played a lot of SEC ball. I mean, uh, have you had a chance to kind of pick his brain at all, and, and what have been your impressions since he got here? Yeah, no, I mean, he's definitely an older guy on the team. He's played in the SEC, so, I mean, just leaning on him. He's a great guy. He really is a great leader, and uh, just being able to talk to him every day has been very helpful. We're just RJ from a big-time program, tournament team last year. So what has your first impression been of them joining this team? I mean, he's a great dude, too. I mean, it's, I think a lot of the team is just great dudes this year. Obviously, he knows what it takes to win, and uh, he played a big part in the team last year, so just whatever he has to say, we usually listen to him. Yeah. A lot of uh, quality additions to this team. What's, is, what's the competition like? Because, I, I mean, right now you guys are c competing for mi minutes and roles, yeah. right? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's always competition. Coach, I mean, that was kind of, I think, the idea in the offseason was to bring in uh, a lot of good players so we could have as much competition to make each other better, but we're just focused on pushing each other. How much of a motivator is that for you? I mean, you look at the backcourt, you guys, you guys have a lot of options back there. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a motivator, but I'm more so just focused on improving myself every day and then whatever happens, take care of yourself. What, what have you seen from Asa coming in? Obviously, a lot of buzz around him being a five-star. Yeah, no, I, mean, I definitely think he lives up to it. Uh, he has a crazy motor, plays crazy hard, and then, uh, I mean, he's way more skilled than what I thought. He's a great player. What, what have you seen from Silas as he's getting ready for his second year? I mean, he's always in the gym, always working, and uh, he's just improving his shooting, obviously, and then uh, but yeah, he's just always in the gym. Being a year older now, is there anything that you're able to tell those freshmen specifically just from your experience this last year? Uh, just don't get too high, don't get too low. I mean, it's a long season full of ups and downs. It's going to be good days, bad days. Just try to stay even keeled. When you say Ace is way more skilled, where, where exactly do you see that? He shoots it. Uh, I played him in high school, and I don't. I mean, I don't really remember the game, but he shoots it really well. Salas said Samto dunked on him. Have you gotten dunked on by him? What, what's been the jaw dropping moment? <laughs> I haven't gotten dunked on by uh, Santo, but Jordan Key dunked on me pretty bad. So. <laughs>
That's probably the worst I've got done so far. What, what's been the kind of jaw-dropping moments that Santos had? Coach said that, you know, it feels like an everyday thing for him. Yeah, he'll have like one or two plays a day where you're just like, I mean, he'll just go get a crazy rebound, go get a crazy block, a dunk. So, I mean, it's just probably every other day. Yeah. You look at this roster, you guys have several new faces, and specifically with the transfers, what do you think about the job they've done transitioning, getting here, and getting settled with a new team? Yeah, no, they've done great. Um, I mean, they came in ready to work, came in with great attitudes. They've done a great job. What do you want to see from this team over the next month before you guys start scrimmaging? Uh, just getting better, uh, just continuing a uh, positive attitude and just getting better every day. Two more questions? Or not? <laughs>